Waltz is the 11th episode of the sixth season of the television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine, the 135th episode overall. The episode reveals what became of the notorious Ducat when the United Federation of Planets retook Deep Space Nine in "...sacrifice of angels". Sisko and former Cardassian leader Gul Ducat, who is a prisoner and awaiting trial for war crimes, are marooned together on a deserted planet, and Sisko must rely on the increasingly unstable Ducat for his survival. Plot The USS Honshu is transporting former Cardassian leader Gul Dukat to a hearing on his war crimes. Sisko, who is scheduled to testify, is also aboard and visits Dukat in the ship's brig. Dukat, who has been under treatment following a nervous breakdown over the death of his daughter Zeal, assures Sisko that he has recovered. Suddenly, the ship comes under attack by Cardassian warships. Sisko awakens in a cave, seriously injured, to find that Ducat had managed to get him to a shuttlecraft and escape to a nearby planet, where he tended to Sisko's wounds. Ducat informs him that the shuttle is inoperable, but he is sending out a distress signal. Unbeknownst to Sisko, Ducat is having hallucinatory conversations with Weyun, who teases him about his mental breakdown, then Dama, who advise him to kill Sisko. Ducat reveals that he intends to—after Sisko shows him the respect he deserves. While Ducat talks with his colleagues, Sisko discovers that the communications system is, in fact, not sending out a signal. When Ducat returns, Sisko tests him by asking him to check the system. He does, and tells Sisko the unit is working fine. Meanwhile, Worf searches for Sisko in the Defiant, but has limited time before he must leave to rendezvous with a convoy of Federation ships. Sisko repairs the communications system while Ducat is away, then plays along as Ducat defends his treatment of the Bajorans. However, when a hallucination of Kira taunts him, he becomes angry, firing wildly at the vision with his phaser. Ducat then discovers the distress signal has been repaired, and destroys it, then attacks the defenseless Sisko for his betrayal. On the Defiant, Worf is running out of time and must leave to escort the convoy. Meanwhile, Ducat continues to push Sisko for his approval. Bruised and battered after Ducat's attack, Sisko presses him to talk about the Bajorans. Ducat continues to insist on his benevolence and goodwill towards Bajor but Sisko argues against him, berating him for his hypocrisy and self-deception. Finally, Ducat is forced to admit his hatred of the Bajorans, angrily declaring that he should have killed every last one. While Ducat is ranting, Sisko knocks him out and manages to make his way to the shuttle, discovering it to be intact. Ducat recovers and follows Sisko to the shuttle and overpowers him. But when Sisko challenges Ducat to kill him, Ducat instead leaves him behind and takes off in the shuttle, vowing to destroy Bajor. The Defiant crew then picks up a signal from Ducat leading them to Sisko. Ducat, however, escapes, leaving Sisko vowing to defeat him and protect Bajor at all costs. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> External links. Waltz on IMDb. Waltz at tv.com. Waltz at Memory Alpha, a Star Trek wiki. Waltz at Star Trek. Come.